Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Do you miss my voice? In today's lesson, I'll talk about SQL Accounting System, the latest version which will help you to handle the GST changes from 6% to 0% from 1st of June 2018. If you wish to purchase SQL Accounting System to attend training or upgrade your versions and sign our support maintenance, do feel free to contact me with this information. But before we start, please go to facebook.com slash syntax technologies, click on like, and also follow my page and remember to click on the see first. You'll get all the latest information regarding SQL, GST, SST, or any other stuff, and it will appear automatically at your own Facebook page. Now, let's go to SQL. The latest version is 757. So let's log into the system. For all GST registrants, which is SQL user, please upgrade to this version. It's very important. What's so special about this system and the version? The first thing, text invoice will auto detect the date of 1st of June. Meaning, if you issue a text invoice in May, system will automatically use 6%. Whereas if you issue the tax invoice in June, system automatically use 0%. Correct. We do not create two tax codes. We are still using the same old tax code as R, but the system will automatically differentiate by detecting the date. Let's see how it works. We go to SQL again, we go to sales, we go to invoice, click on new, Select the customer, let's say Syntax Technologies. We can see the date is 29th of May. So we select the item. And you can see that the tax code is SR and the tax rate is 6%. No problem. Okay, let's do another tax invoice. Syntax again. But this time, assuming that the date it's first of June. Okay, let's give a very special invoice number for it. Let's say we call it IMB June 01. So of course the system will automatically run its invoice number, but we want to differentiate for this tutorial purpose. So I purposely put a very special invoice number. So we select the item code. And you can see that the tax code is still SR, but the tax rate is 0%. Now, what if I still want to use SR as 6% even after June? Because of GST Act Section 66, you already issue a delivery order or customer already made payment before 1st of June. So what you need to do, very simple, just go to tax rate and change it accordingly. Let's click on save. So this will be the first features. Second, let's see. There will be quotation and sales order in May 6% and transfer to invoice in June. It automatically becomes 0% because quotation and sales order is not a GST document. The impact only happened for tax invoice. So this scenario is correct, but how system automatically change the rate? Let's see how it works. Let's go to sales quotation. New, select the customer. This time the quotation number I put QT. Uh, IV. June. Let's see. Okay, it's in May. So we select item. Standard rated SR 6%. No problems. We save it. So we go to sales invoice. And imagine now we are transferring the document to June. 
let's say this is IV QT June. I put it as 0106, that means 1st of June. Instead of selecting the item, I'll be doing the transferring. What I need to do is right click the invoice title, transfer from quotation. Let's say this is by item or by document. Let's say I select the document and I click OK. And you can see that just now when I issue the quotation is 6% and I transfer over to invoice, it's automatically changed to 0%. Of course, some customer may ask, then it have problems because customer sign is 6% and now it's 0%. It's a bit confusing. No problem. It's up to you. You can amend your quotation and send to customer again. Then only you do the transfer. But SQL already handle the transfer to 0% for you. Just in case you will make mistake so we can prevent it like this. So let's do again. But this time we do it in sales order. Let's say we go to sales, sales order. We click on new, create a sales order in May. Let's say this sales order is SOIMV June. Okay, so select the item. Same things happen. Tax code is SR, tax rate is 6% because it's in May. So we go to sales invoice, then we click on new syntax and we change the invoice number to IMVSO June 01. Now the reason I keep on changing the document number and do not use the system number is it's easier for us to identify which document is which for training purpose. So we create or we select the date as 1st of June. So we right click the title again. Now this time we transfer from sales order. Remember, this is the item. We select the item, transfer over. Same things, tax code still SR, tax rate change to 0%. Save it. Done. So it's helped a lot to prevent you to making mistake, which is let's say if your SO is 6% and you transfer to invoice is 6% again, then it's a huge problem. Now the third functions. This round is a bit different. If you issue the delivery order in May 6%, when you transfer over to invoice also must be 6%. Which section? Same thing, section 66. Okay. Now let's try it out. We go to SQL again. This round, we go to sales, delivery order, new, select the customer. Deal number is DO, IMP, June. Example. In May, so guess what? Same things happen. Tax put is SR, 6% GST. No problems. Close it. We go to sales again. We go to invoice. New. Select the customer. Invoice number is IMV. DO. June 01. Change the date to 1st of June as well. Right click. Transfer from delivery order. Select item. OK. And you can see that tax code SR, but the rate still remain as 6% and not change to 0%. This is correct. Okay, now the next part. Credit note. Previously, we are transferring documents such as quotation, delivery order, sales order to invoice. But what if we already issue the invoice in May and customer returns the good after May, that means in June. So what is the tax code? It's SR and the tax rate need to follow back the 
tax rate from the previous tax invoice. There's only one exceptional case is when your credit note will make the amount in 5B become negative, then it is not using SR but using AJP. That will be discussed in future tutorial. So let's see how it works for this case. We do it a new tax invoice. This round we start from tax invoice. So we select the customer. This round is invoice CN. So it's in May. Select the item. So it's as R six percent. Sorry, the same. Let's say invoice two. Save it. Let's go to sales credit note. New. Select the customer. And this route is CNINV June 01. Change the date to 3rd of June. Let's say on 3rd of June, customer returns the goods from the previous tax invoice. So, same theory. Right click the title, transfer from sales order. So, this is the document. You see, that is why I always want to change the document number. It's easier for us to identify. Okay, click on it. Oh, not this one, sorry. It's supposed to be this one, right? Yeah, this one. IMV CNG. Okay. So you can see that the credit not issued in June but the tax code and tax rate is SR 6%. Settle. Okay, now what's next? Same things happen to back debt relief and recovery. Let's say the invoice is in May. So in October, when you do back debt relief, it's still 6%. It's not 0%. And finally, it's the most important part of cost GST 03, where for tax code SR and DS, you need to account in column 5A. But let's say you are doing a, your taxable period is from April, May, June. That means the same tax code, there will be two different tax rates, 6% and 0%. And both of it handled by SQL accounting system automatically. Let's prove how it works. Go back to SQL, we close everything, and we go to GST, new GST return. Now, always remember, if you want to draft a GST03, what you need to do is click on the arrow down key next to the process button. You can process as draft or you can directly click on process. SQL account system will handle your bad debt relief automatically. What you need to do is just click on the tax invoice you wish to claim the bad debt relief if you want to. Or you just directly click on the finish. And if this message happened, meaning that there is 21 days rules, there's outstanding delivery order. So click OK again, done. So SQL will automatically help you to calculate the total output tax, total input tax, and the amount you need to pay. And if you want to check on your GSC 03, just click on this button. Okay, and you can see that everything will be filled up by the system automatically. And you want to check for output tax, why you are getting 7,800 plus? What you need to do is double click on the amount, double click, go in. So let's scroll down this, all the transactions that make up the whole amount. And you can see that over here, there's some transactions using SR, but tax amount is zero. There's some transaction using SR, but with tax amount. So it proved that SQL can handle the 
SR 6% and 0% automatically. Now, that's all for today. If you want, once again, if you want to upgrade your system to the latest versions and sign our maintenance, just contact me directly. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you. Thank you.